This is the new Nanlite Fosa 720B. This is a Synity Gear News video, supported by B&H and CVP. Hi, I'm Johnny from Synity, and I'm here with Barry from Nanlite. Barry, how are you? Doing well. How about yourself? I'm very fine. Thank you very much. And we are in the Nanlite booth, which is very bright and very nice. <laughs> yes, it is. And you announced, actually it was, I think, two weeks ago, that you announced the new Nanlite Forza. We did. 720 and 720B. Yes, yes. What is so special about those lights? So both of those lights are pretty much the brightest light Nanlite has now right now. It is just extremely bright. One of those things where if I was out in direct sunlight, you and I were standing there, this thing would blow us away under the sun. So that's a bright light. But what we liked about it is the fact that we've got a light that does 5600 Kelvin in the 720 and then a bicolor light, a bicolor light that's super bright that does 2700 Kelvin up to 6500 degrees Kelvin. So there's hardly any compromise on the brightness and the strength of the light, even if it's bicolor? Yes. That's the cool thing about what Nanlite's done with this new light. They have what they call constant light and then max output. The constant light allows you, because we all know with bicolor, it always kind of starts at the bottom and it peaks in the middle and drops back off again. They fixed that. They made it so that it's constant whatever color temperature you have to be dialing into. But if you go, let's say, to 5600 and you need that max output, it's there. So you have that ability in a mode change on the light itself. What I'm really surprised that it's the first time that I see the light it's rather small. Quite amazing. Yeah, I mean, nowadays you, you would think, obviously LEDs have gotten so bright they need a fan to be able to cool them off and you need a really like a big heat sink to do that but they've really compacted it down as much as they can, threw a couple of fans in there to kind of cool everything off, and really allowed you to have a light that'll give you everything you need on anything that you might be shooting. Okay, so this is the main difference between the 720 and the 720B. Weight is the same? Pretty much, yes. The weight is gonna be the same, the look is going to be the same. They've added the ability to have some longer umbilical cables from like where we have the, the power unit up to the fixture head. They've also given you a longer cord for electrical. They've added, um, they kind of changed this over to what we call the Forza 2 line, which is what we're moving towards, where we've kind of compact things down a little bit more. We've made it so that all the buttons are really close and all the connections are really close, and it makes it really easy for you to use. And then the last thing they did was, they got tired of people, I guess, asking them, hey, is it a 14.8, is it a 26? So on these lights, you can use both. Very nice. Now, since nobody else is listening, it's only you and me. Okay. Why? I mean, not why. Let's start with differently. The competition is so stiff. Mm -hmm. It's really amazing. Everybody and his mother is producing LED lights. Yes. Why should one prefer this one over the competition? So that's a really good question. And my first answer for that would be the ability to be able to as bright as it is. Because the 720 now is pretty much one of the brightest lights that are out there. Most of the competition we're seeing is about a 600 watt LED. This is a 720 watt LED. And it's actually truly 800 watts, but we can guarantee good color quality, consistent light output at 720 watts, and you've got a solid light. Whom are you tar targeting with this type of light? I, I would say we're probably targeting most of your independent film guys. We're also targeting some of the broadcast folks as well, and some of those studio uses. Uh, we're targeting anybody that might be doing any type of production that's outside and might use an HMI. They might, this light can supplement for that. That would give you the ability to be able to have a nice bright light outside whatever production you might be doing. So those broadcast stations and some of these other production companies would appreciate a light like this. Talking about filming outdoor, mm -hmm. is it can be battery power also? Yes, since it can use the V-mount batteries, and like I mentioned earlier, it can use a 14.8 or a 26 volt. The 26 volt is gonna give you pretty much the full output, but the 14.8 will definitely bring that brightness down some. And it will depend on what your runtime is, depending on how bright the light is. So I guess for this, you have to move into B-mount. Yes, V-mounts especially. Um, I've had some other, some people look for gold mounts and things like that. The V-mount for us has been what we depend on, and that's what we're sticking with right now. Barry, you were mentioning independent filmmakers, and I would like to know how affordable this light is. And of course, affordable is a very flexible term. So let's let's talk about pricing. Okay. So uh, probably the 720, you're looking at about 16.49 for the map price, and then about 18.49 for the bicolor 720 version. So again, an affordable light for anybody out there. How about availability? 
Availability will be coming uh, by the end of next month is what we're looking at. So for us at NAB here right now, um, it's close to the end of May. Can you, do you anticipate or you think there will be some delays? Because we know how it is currently, there's so many Oh, you mean shipping delays? That's right, shipping like delays, that. yeah. We're not seeing anything like that right now. Uh, Nanlite's done a really good job of being able to get us the inventory we need here in the United States, and so we are able to supply our customers. So I don't see any any delays in anything that... Now, in saying that, you know the world we live in right now. It's anything like never that, say never. Yes, never say never, but it's been really good for us. So I, I have to say they've done a very good job. Anything else before we say thank you and goodbye? Did I forget any key feature of these slides or anything else that you want to add? Really and truly, uh, this is just a great light to be able to own if you're an operator or if you want to be able to rent it from a rental house. It's going to be one of those type of situations where people are going to be able to use it because of its power. And I'm really happy that Nanlite's come out with something like this. Barry, thank you very much for talking to sure. us or to me and presenting the light to our audience. Certainly. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and much more is coming from NAB 2022 show floor. Thank you.